How's my new iPad? It's pretty good. Okay, listen me up because this is really important. In this video, I'll show you how you can jailbreak your device which is running on iOS 14.2 and all the devices from iPhone 6 s to iPhone 10 are supported. Yes, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus and iPhone 10 are also supported. Because Checkrate officially dropped support for iOS 14.2, we don't need to use any patch or anything like that. Plus, they officially dropped support for A10 and A11. In this video, I'll show you how you can jailbreak your device using a Windows machine, using the exact same new Checkrate version so that you can officially jailbreak your device. If you want to do so, this will be a proper guide on how you can jailbreak your device running on iOS 14.2 so make sure to watch this video till the end and let's jump into it there are certain things that you need to take care of so if we go to settings no, no not this way so there are certain things that you need to take care of so if we jump to settings and head over to about section you can see this here is an iPhone 7 which is running on iOS 14.2 which you are here for probably you have a device which is running on iOS 14.1 or 14.2 in this method that will work so if you have an iPhone 8 8 plus or an iPhone 10 you extremely need to watch this video till the end because there is a step if you miss that step you'll mess up your device and if you do have an iPhone 8 8 plus or an iPhone 10 before trying out this method remove any kind of password you have uh, that's all as far as I remember. I'll just take you to my window screen and show you the further process Just woke up. I'm not even ready for this Anyways, uh, first of all, I have a request. Let's aim for 201 likes and if we do that This will be most liked video on YouTube. So go smash that like button now Okay, the next thing you have to do is just go ahead and then I'll just quickly close out all the tabs because before making this video I was trying uh, to do this method so that it works perfectly and you have to search for download Ubuntu and I'll link the site down in the description below press on the big green download button and the download will start straight away okay for some reason if you click on the download button this will take you to 404 page which means that your download is not started yet and as you can see uh, this is basically a problem with their servers I bet this will be fixed quite soon so because this is a really big company they'll fix this thing soon okay we'll search for uh, download rufus now and sites down in the description below you guys can check him out scroll all the way down and you'll see a big download button you can see that doesn't work for some reason i don't know why this big download button doesn't work but anyways you have to tap on rufus 3.12 when it's a one megabyte file will take a couple of seconds to install depending upon your internet connection and once you install rufus on your device the next thing you have to do is bring in your shiny little pen drive and so this is a sandisk pen drive it's like 8 gb 4 gb or more will be sufficient and then like plug the pen drive in your computer and i'll just do the same thing okay the next thing you have to do is just quickly launch rufus software it's a exe file nothing to do and hit on yes and uh as I already told you, every device is supported like iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus. Again, I'm telling you uh, this new iPhone. Well, it's not new, but this iPhone 7 is also supported. But I'll cover main things uh, once we boot in Ubuntu. Okay, the next thing you have to do is select the pen drive in Rufus software and then hit on the select button. Once you do that, you have to select that 2.59 gigabyte ubuntu iso file in rufus software make that clear because many people do this mistake open rufus plug in your pen drive and select that ubuntu iso file which was 2 gig in rufus software and hit on the start button this will take a couple of minutes or maybe seconds if you have an ultra fast pc i don't know you have to uh, burn you this iso file in your pen drive okay uh, the next question that will strike your mind why the hell i'm not doing this because as i already told you before making these videos i have to test that everything is working so that my viewers get a perfect experience they don't face any problems so that's why i've already tried this method more than two times uh, not to mention that this was released like eight nine hours ago okay 
plug in your pen drive hit on the windows icon and hit shut down now as you can see our pc is completely powered off because this is a proper windows guide and iphone 7 8 and 10 are supported on ios 14.2 the next thing we have to do i'm not going to switch to a mac or anything like that because this is a proper guide as i already told you so you have to power on your pc while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu so i'll just do the same thing and as you can see preparing one time boot menu one time boot menu and bios are different you have to enter in one time boot menu how on earth you know which is the key to enter in one time boot menu for your laptop hmm i know many people get confused in this part so you have to configure it on your own but i can help you I'll link a full article down in the description below which shows key to enter in one time boot menu for all laptops. So you have to check in there and just, uh, I don't know, um, get the key to enter in one time boot menu. And basically, the next thing you have to do is under UFPI boot or maybe under legacy boot, this screen will be different for you. So under UFPI boot, select UFPI SanDisk or whatever the name of your pen drive is and hit enter again. And now uh, you were expecting check rate to boot up. No, we have to do a couple of more things and some more things so that everything works. Couple of more things and some more things. Okay, now as you can see, it's starting to do some disk checking things and the crap we don't want it to. Press Ctrl plus C two three times to skip disk checking and press it even harder so that it gets that we don't want any disk checking and all that crap by the time it's booting up i want you to bring your new lightning cable or maybe an old lightning cable so that you can connect to your phone if you don't know how to connect your phone to your pc uh you have to bring the lightning cable you have to uh, take your phone and you have to do like this I'll link a full tutorial down in the description below so you guys can check it out how to uh, plug your iPhone in your PC if you don't know for some reason. Okay, now uh, I'm using an external mouse but for you the trackpad will work if it doesn't get this mouse thingy and you have to hit on try Ubuntu. This is the best part. You don't have to install Ubuntu on your disk. You don't have to do, you don't have to mess up with Windows, nothing. You just want to hit on try Ubuntu and Ubuntu will automatically boot itself. I don't know how this works, but the next thing you have to do is just you know, get familiar with Ubuntu, change the background, do some fun stuff and uh, try out this new operating system. Okay, I want you to test that the keyboard is working and if for some reason it doesn't, uh, you have to reboot in Ubuntu. So I'll just set the exposure and I'll type random crap and it's working. Okay, now as you can see, you'll see little battery thing here. Click on it and then you'll see Wi-Fi not connected. Uh, hit on select network and you'll see a couple of networks here. So I'll just connect to my Wi-Fi and uh, you have to type in your password. Again, if for some reason your keyboard is not working, just try to reboot in Ubuntu. I'm not telling you to redo all the process just reboot into Ubuntu because you have to figure some things on your own. There might be some problems that I don't even know a solution of. So you have to keep trying. Uh, sometimes the keyboard doesn't work and I bet this time it's working. The last time I've tried it, it just never worked. Okay, the next thing you have to do is just jump to uh, or you can write check rain and so you have to type in check rain and go to the official website of check rain and here it is. Okay. You have to click on get beta now. It will recognize your operating system and it will give you Linux. Do not click on that. I'll just quickly zoom on the page and you have to click on see all downloads. Once you do that, all the downloads are here in front of you. Okay. Now you have to select download for Linux. And once you click on it, it will basically download it for Linux and you have to hit on save file. 
uh this might take like a couple of more minutes than usual because now as you can see my phone is jailbroken because i was trying out this method i jailbroke my phone so by the time it's downloading i'll completely reboot my phone so that you can understand this is not a scam or anything like that and as you can see it's taking way longer than expected it's like an 11 megabyte file and it's taking like 6 minutes my internet is pretty damn slow i need to do something okay uh after 20 minutes i don't know it took like a really long time downloading this 13 megabyte file i do how to deal with it but first of all uh, now before we jailbreak our device because it's time to i'll show you i just unjailbroke my phone so we'll keep this device at a side focus on this windows pc and okay the next thing is a bit tricky uh go, go to files and open it go in the downloads and you'll see check rain pretty good if you don't uh, just click on the download button and hit show all downloads and uh, under downloads you'll see check rain uh, if you're newly installed linux or you are trying out linux the de the default downloads will be in downloads okay open terminal and let's get to real talk all the commands i'm going to type because i like nerdy stuff all the commands I'm going to type over here at down in the description below open my video check out all the commands and uh, I'll just start typing in I'll explain how we do all these things because if you want to jailbreak your device you want to know more about how these things work and it's really interesting for you to learn about Ubuntu because all uh, check rain things and just got just releases for Mac OS and Linux so first of all we wrote cd downloads i'll like zoom in a bit so that you can see it clearly i don't know so we firstly uh, wrote cd downloads that simply means change the directory to downloads hit enter because we downloaded a file it stored in downloads that's why we are telling the system to change the directory to download once we are in downloads you have to type chmod plus x and then check rain hit on enter once you type in there the next thing you have to do you have to type sudo it's important to write sudo um if because we need super user privileges dot slash check rain and slash c you don't have to type this the ending slash c so it's down in the description below simply it's sudo dot slash check rain hit enter there you go the new check rain 12.0.12.0 uh, oh, yeah okay uh, this has some things new uh, this new quick mode i've tried it and trust me it's really crap i i'll tell you how you can do all these things but uh, plug in because uh, this is an important step i forgot to mention if you own an iphone 8 8 plus or an iphone x you cannot simply jailbreak there is a work around to that that i will tell you uh, just now but i'll plug my phone again if you don't know how to plug your phone i'll link a full tutorial down in the description below in case you are that guy do not enable quick mode what this basically does i i'll tell you uh, after jailbreaking my device but disable it if you want to try it out up to you uh, i don't know don't try my phone here connected to my pc go to options uh, just keep that white thing on options and then you have to like use arrow keys to scroll around options hit enter and go to skip a11 bpr check you'll see this uh, i'll zoom in it a bit so that you can see it clearly uh, you can see skip a11 b r b p r check you have to put a check mark on it this will basically skip anything if you own an iphone 8 8 plus or an iphone 10 and you, you want to jailbreak it enable this b p r thing if you own an iphone 7 you can also enable it but uh, both things will work and if you have an iphone 8 8 plus or an iPhone 10 you have to disable password all the sep related things which are security related things will be gone if you then uh, try to enable passcode it will basically uh, do all sorts of weird stuff it will reboot your device it will panic the device never mind if you have an iPhone 7 and 7 plus just simply plug it in 
okay once you plug in your device this is really important your uh, machine says to trust the device and not trust it and your iphone says trust you have to click on trust really important step you have to do it so that your uh, linux machine now which runs on windows can uh, identify the device so you have to then click on cancel okay now the check screen has already detected uh, a beautiful iphone 7 all you have to do is go and start again i'm telling you if you have an iphone 8 8 plus iphone 10 disable password right now if you want to jailbreak otherwise all sorts of weird stuff is gonna happen to your device so i don't want that but jailbreaking via this method it's official it's 100 percent safe we just downloaded check in from their official website that simply means it's official okay now uh, we'll hit start i'll tell you what quick mode is as i promised you hit on enter recovery mode uh, this is really basic but there are some things that we need to take care of basically on every step we need to press enter so that we can get ready as well as see it's giving us an option to press start and then follow the process if you are using quick mode it will basically rush out all the steps without you having to press enter or anything like that which is really weird i don't know i cannot even do it but basically what it's telling you on your screen you have to do it it's saying to press the side button as well as volume down button and after five seconds release the side button while keep holding the volume down button so we'll do the same thing and as you can see checking if the device is ready uh, right before triggered and i'll just quickly keep my phone here so you guys can check i'm not touching this laptop and my phone will basically jailbreak you can see here and as you can see all done our device is now jailbroken and once you uh, boot your device you'll see nothing because you have to wait for a couple of seconds before the check in icon appears suddenly it appears open check in and just quickly connect to a wi-fi connection now i've connected to wi-fi open check in and it will say unable to fetch bootstraps hit on retry cydia install cydia and it will download base system either way that's been it hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i did while making it if you did drop a thumbs up down below and i'll catch you all very soon peace